वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन मोर एग्जाम्पल दैट इज एग्जाम्पल नंबर थ्री स्केच द पोलर प्लॉट फॉर द फॉलोइंग ट्रांसफर फंक्शन विच इज गिवन एस जी ऑफ एस इक्वल्स टू वन ओवर वन प्लस एस इन टू वन प्लस टू एस सो वी विल फॉलो ऑल द फाइव स्टेप्स टू प्लॉट द पोलर प्लॉट मूविंग ऑन टू द स्टेप नंबर वन दैट इज डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ ओपन लूप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन सिंस ओपन लूप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन इज गिवन एस जी ऑफ एस एंड इन द क्वेश्चन वी हैव ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडेड विद द जी ऑफ एस डेट्स वाई द ओपन लूप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन इज इक्वल्स टू वन ओवर वन प्लस एस वन प्लस टू एस मूविंग ऑन टू स्टेप नंबर टू That is calculation of g of j omega. So we have to put s equals to j omega here. Then we find g of j omega that will be equals to one over one plus j omega one plus two j omega by simply putting s equals to j omega in this equation. We got this term. Moving on to step number three, that is calculation of magnitude. So magnitude, which is represented as mod of g of j omega. So mod of g of j omega can be written as. One over mod of this term that is omega square plus one, and mod of this term that is two omega square plus one. On simplifying, we get mod of g of j omega equals to one over. Under the root omega square plus one, and this two omega to the power two will become four omega square plus one. So this is the expression of magnitude. Moving on to the step number four, that is calculation of phase angle. Phase angle can also be denoted by phi, where phi is equals to nothing but phase angle of g of j omega, and it will be equals to tan inverse of in the numerator. In the numerator, there is no imaginary term. That's why that's why we have to write zero in the numerator. After that, it is a real part. That is one. Then, for this term. That is in the denominator. We have to write first negative sign. After that, tan inverse. This is imaginary part. That is omega, and real part is one. After this, for this term, we have to put negative sign. Then after tan inverse of two omega is the imaginary part, and one is the real part. So, angle of g of j omega will be equals to since tan inverse of 0 is equals to 0 only minus tan inverse of omega minus tan inverse of 2 omega on rewriting equation we get g of j omega is equals to minus tan inverse of omega minus tan inverse of 2 omega so this is the final expression of phase angle moving on to the step number 5 that is 
formation of table and calculation of values of magnitude and phase angle on the various values of omega so this is omega this is mod of g of g omega this is angle of g of g omega this is omega equals to 0, 0.0 this is omega equals to 0, 0.2 this is omega equals to 0, 0.5 this is omega equals to 1 this is omega equals to 5 and finally omega equals to infinite so for all these values of omega we have to calculate the values of magnitude and phase angle i had calculated all the values earlier so i write down all the values quickly So these all are the values that I got after the calculation. So let's move on to the last and the final step that is plotting of polar plot. So this is our polar plot. This is 0 degree 360 degree. This is 90 degree or minus 270 degree this is 180 degree or minus 180 degree this is 270 degree or minus 90 degree since by the observation of the magnitude we can say that the value of omega at omega equals to 0 the magnitude equals to 1 only and at omega equals to infinite its magnitude will become zero so here is the zero and first of all we have to decide that in which quadrant our polar plot will lie so its angle will start from zero to and then that's minus 180 degree so here is a zero degree and here is minus 180 degree so we can say that our polar plot will lie in the third and fourth quadrant because all the angles are negative here that's why in this angle in this quadrant and in this quadrant our polar plot will lie and since the magnitude is 1 that's why the maximum magnitude is 1 now let us draw all the angles so this is the 0 degree this is minus 33 degree this is minus 71 degree this is 108 degree will be lie here minus 162 degree will be here then minus 180 degrees here so these all are the angles after this we have to plot the magnitudes also so at omega equals to 0 its magnitude is 1 so the polar plot will start from this point where the magnitude is equals to 1 
and omega is equals to 0 here. After this, at omega equals to 0 0.2, its magnitude is 0 0.9. So 0 0.9 will be somewhere here. So this is omega equals to 0 0.2. After this, its value will become 0 0.63. So 0 0.63 will somewhere here. So this is the point. After this, 0 0.08, this is very close to 8, 0. That's why it will be here. Then 0 0.019, it will be here. And after that, finally, this is 0 only. So it and that's omega equals to infinite. Let us join all these points. We get our polar plot in this shape. So this is our polar plot that starts from omega equals to 0 at magnitude 1 and goes in this direction towards 0 at omega equals to infinite. So this is all about plotting of polar plot.